<sighs> All right. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle stream. The countdown to the sixth anniversary continues. We got technically four days left still. I see a lot of people, you know, in the chat before I started telling me that I was late today. And yeah, it's a late stream. It's a late stream because in about uh, 40 minutes, it's going to be three days left. And. I kind of thought about maybe just like skipping today, but then again, I didn't want to break my trend of like streaming every single day during the countdown. So I was like, screw it, even though we're late, might as well just, you know, do it anyways. And uh, at some point during the stream, yes, we are going to cross over into three day territory, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm sure people will understand. I've had a busy day, uh, a lot of stuff going on today, so I couldn't stream any earlier than this. This was the only time that I could go live on the channel, so uh, there you have it. Anyways, four days left, guys. Four days left, and uh, just like yesterday, we're going to be doing a lot of world tournament grinding today because uh, we got that going on on Global, and even though it's not my favorite event <laughs> by any means, we got to do it for the rewards, we got to do it for the Vegeta, and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. Um, let me say what's up from... Or what's up from what's up to a few people here uh let's see we got joseph tanks divine saiyan canary poppy uh ecstasy joseph i just said joseph twice mars curse first 360 victor hafiz havoc Dietrich. thank you so much for the um the membership i appreciate that the sponsorship that is we also got messy yt who has been a member for 20 months apparently it says it says Messi YT has been a member on the channel for 20 months. That's crazy, man. You must have been a member since it first became available. Appreciate you. Thank you, man. Uh, Kai, Strangers, Spetsnaz, Josu, Global, Hottie Dog, Hello, I'm Bob. Welcome back, guys. Yo, Bob, I'm so jealous, dude. You just got a haircut? I'm still waiting for my appointment. I still got four days, four days to go before I can get my, my haircut. That's why the, uh, the hat made a return today. And, uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, by the way, yes, I, I should claim the gifts. I, I just realized I have a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff in here, man. Mostly from the World Tournament yesterday that I didn't claim. Uh, so let's do it. Let's see how many stones we get here. Boom. Not bad. Okay, 33 stones. There's more. There's more stones. Okay, hold on. And we got three more stones. So we got 120 now. 120. Don't worry, guys. Once the tournament starts, or rather the uh, anniversary starts, I'll have a lot more stones. Okay, I'm aiming for like 2,000, so we're gonna we're gonna spend a lot of money. We're gonna be spending a lot of money. You don't have to worry about my stone count. I'll be ready when it's time. Kevin Polino, thank you for the two dollar dono. Uh, when you pulled LR Turles, so did I on Tapion. I like you pulled the LR Turles and Tapion banner as well. Nice man. I mean, honestly, like Tapion or, or Turles is a great pull. It's just like. I wanted a new LR, right? So I was I was a little bit upset, but not super upset. Uh, greetings from the Netherlands, Bram. Welcome, uh, Tiger. How's your day, G? It was good. It was good. Um, it was busy, you know. Had a lot of stuff going on, but can't really complain. It was a uh, it was a fun day for sure. All right, guys, we're gonna jump back in, grab our LR Broly, and uh, gonna be doing this for probably about. You know, the next two hours or so, uh, we'll see how things go. I don't like to plan things out, but I do think I might have to cut this stream a little bit earlier than normal, just because uh, I have to play with Phoenix. <laughs> My little brother, you guys know Phoenix from the summoning videos. He really wants to play Minecraft with me, and I told him that, you know, I have to stream today, but, you know, before he goes to bed, I would play Minecraft with him for a little bit, so... We're gonna probably go for like an hour and a half, maybe two hours at most, and then I gotta leave for some uh, Big Brother duties. Uh, the stream just start. Obi Wan, we just started, man. You're not late. You're not late. Uh, to be fair, this World Tournament was pretty good to me. In these two days, I got more than 50 stones, and also from some other events. Nice. Yeah, the tournament overall gives you about 50 stones. That's why I tell everybody to like still do it, even if you hate it, you know, because it's just it's it's worth it. Like, the rewards are worth it. The event itself needs a lot of work, but, I mean, you can't go wrong with 50 plus stones for an event, right? 
Uh, yo, have a great stream, man. Can't stay tonight. Have a JoJo event to get to. Wait, Mr. Baby, can you elaborate for a second? What do you mean JoJo event? Like, like a convention for JoJo fans? Or is this in a game? Or or what? Like, what, what does that mean exactly? Are you, are you cosplaying as, as a JoJo character? Because that sounds pretty dope, man. Where is that? Uh, Tiger Top 300 is good, right? Fortnite, man, it's really good. It's it's very, very good. It's extremely good. Uh, what's up, Tiger? Damn notifications of YouTube tripping. It's, 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 it's the norm, man. It's just how it is. I, I can't be surprised these days. Uh, can't wait for Stone Ocean. Yeah, I heard it's coming out soon. I know a lot of people are excited for that, but... Mr. Baby says he has to go to a JoJo event. What does that actually mean, though? Is he going to a JoJo, like, convention, like a cosplay convention, or like an anime convention? What, like, what is that? Tell Phoenix is, uh, World Tournament is important. JK, hi Tiger. Nero Dokkan, what's up, man? Uh, now it's online, so Anime Expo Lite is showing some JoJo stuff in five minutes. Expecting to see part six info. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So, it's like a reveal for JoJo stuff. Cool. Man, I, I'll be honest, man, I still gotta finish part part five. Uh, I've, I've gone halfway through it, and then I got distracted with other things. Um, but yeah, man, once I, once I get through part five, I'll be excited for part six as well. What's up, Tiger? Got four of these stones. Do you think that's enough? Rashad, it could be enough. It might not be enough. It all depends on how lucky you are, right? It's all RNG. At the end of the day, uh, Mr. Baby going to get stoned by the ocean. <laughs> Hello Tiger, Lido, what's going on? Uh, Isha Biceps, welcome. Wish I had an easy team to run World Tournament. Kanzel, all you really need is like one really good attack all unit and LR Krillin is available to everyone, right? So if you haven't gotten your LR Krillin done, that is the first thing I would recommend you do. And then obviously for the friend, just bring an LR Broly and uh, you're good to go, right? Because if you have two attack all units, then on average, you should have like one per rotation. Obviously, it doesn't always work that way, but um, if you have LR Krillin and then bring an LR Broly friend, yeah, you're you're fine for the most part. Uh, yes, sir. Please finish part five. Anyways, have a good stream. A little excited. Sorry for the caps. Have a great day. All right, Mr. Baby, enjoy your JoJo event. Um, I would check it out too, except for the fact that it would be spoilers. So I'm hold off on that. But I hope uh, I hope the reveal is good. You still got time to grind, by the way. Oh, to be honest, grind what? Grind stones? I don't really grind stones. I mean, I mean, I do the events, of course, but for the most part, like, I can't not spend the stones that I grind. So basically for me, like, I'm spending my stones as fast as I get them. That's why, like, I just resign myself to buy stones for every single banner that comes out. Uh, Wesley Johnson, nice tattoo, man. Thanks, dude. Yeah, uh, I got all of these tattoos. A long time ago, when I was in college, and since then, I haven't gotten anything new, but I do plan to. Um, it's just a question of like, what and where, right? Because like, I think it's time for me to finally get a Dragon Ball Z tattoo, but I haven't decided like, what character, or what style, or where I want to place it, you know, like on my chest, on my leg, I don't know, you know, but like, I, I do... I'm still very much into tattoos, you know, and Dragon Ball Z is just such a big part of my life, you know what I mean? So like, I think I gotta do it. I think I gotta do it at some point. <clears throat> Shenron on the arm. Shenron on the arm is definitely something I considered. Yeah, I was thinking of getting like a Shenron half sleeve, because obviously this arm, right, like this, uh, the right arm is like completely, at least the top part is completely bare. So I could do like a half sleeve with like the head on my chest or something like that. I don't know. I've, I've, I've like considered a lot of different, you know, compositions, but I just haven't really been able to like commit to anything yet. Majin symbol on the chest. I mean, Majin symbol on the chest is better than Majin symbol on the on the forehead. So it's not a bad suggestion. Not a bad suggestion. Um, LR Broly is hacks multiple times, uh, which is a lot easier. Yeah, LR Broly is is great because on the harder difficulties, 
Um, one super sometimes will not finish off the entire enemy team, so you got that additional super that's guaranteed, which 95% of the time will finish the entire team. Like sometimes you might have like one really tanky AGL type that still survives, but like as I said, like 95% of the time, the double supers from Broly will kill everybody, and that's what you want. You want to get through the tournament as quickly as possible, so that's why LR Broly is such a good choice. Uh, a Wii symbol. Streaming a bit late today, huh? Yep, streamed a bit late, man. You're right, you're right. But I thought, might as well stream late than not stream at all. So we're still here. Uh, we, we, we still continued the... We didn't break the trend of streaming every day. And tomorrow, I'll stream a little bit earlier so that people aren't complaining. But today, I was just like, still got to do it, man. We're, we're late, but we still got to do it. Uh, Vegito Simp says I have 50 stones. Should I summon for Tapion? Vegito Simp, I would save them for, I would save them for uh, the anniversary, man. It's so close. We we, we literally got four days to go, so um, hold on to those stones. <clears throat> Six toss on the forehead like Krillin. Alex, legit like, I would probably never do it. But, but, if I received a large enough don- and no, I'm kidding man, <laughs> there's no, there's no amount anybody can donate to make me tattoo six dots on my forehead, man. I mean, first of all, I just don't think it'd be a good look. Second of all, I think it'd be kind of disrespectful to like, like actual monks, you know what I mean? Like, that, that, that's kind of like a, uh, I don't know if it's necessarily religious or... Maybe it is. I, I'm not super knowledgeable about this stuff, honestly, but um, my point is, you know, I, I just think it'd be like disrespect to actual monks because it means something to them. So I'm, I, I wouldn't do that for that reason. I would like draw some maybe if I wanted to cosplay as Krillin one day, you know, for like a convention or just for fun or something like that. But I would never get that tattoo, man. Uh, when are the units coming out, anyone? KD, they're coming out about two days after the anniversary starts. So we got four days to go, or technically really three days at this point, and uh, two days after that, so it should be the 8th, we'll be getting the Dual Dual Combat's banner. Uh, get the Dragon Balls tattooed all over your body. <laughs> all seven Dragon Balls, man, like one on my face, one on my leg, one on my, my abs. Um, yeah, no, that's not happening. That's not happening. But I like these suggestions though. Keep keep giving me suggestions, you know, keep giving us ideas, and maybe one of them will actually uh you know, one of these will actually intrigue me enough for me to make it happen. Tiger, I got a question. When will we get the gods event on global? Didn't JP get them during the countdown? Nah man, it came out during part one. So uh it should be on the sixth when part one starts, we'll get the gods event. Along with like all the other stuff too, right? Like boss rush and so on and so forth. Hey Tiger, wanted to ask. Go ahead, Bagish. Ask away, whatever your question is. What about a third eye? Uh, Brandon, how you doing, Tiger? Greetings from Mexico, King. Hey, what's up, man? Welcome, welcome. Shout out to Brandon Moreno, the first UFC Mexican UFC champ. I don't know if you, you watched the UFC, but uh, yeah, he just became the first, I think he's the first, right? First Mexican UFC champion. I think so. I could be wrong, actually. I'm pretty sure he is, though. Shout out to him. Awesome guy, man. This guy is like, for anybody that doesn't follow him or just the UFC in general, like, I love this dude because he is like the biggest nerd, you know? Like, he is... Like a huge fan of Lego, he collects a bunch of pops. He's like in anime and all that stuff. Just like, like, just like us, right? He's like, he's one of us. Yet he's also this like badass like fighter that just became a champion in the UFC. So like, it's just inspirational, man. It's just it's inspirational. Um, waiting for the anniversary is an absolute ball breaker. <laughs> We're close. We're close, bro. Uh, Trey Young gonna play game six, really? Really? Interesting. I mean, just because Trey Young plays, I don't necessarily think it means that the Hawks are gonna win. Like, I I think the Bucks actually like found something really good in the last game with uh, Brooke Lopez. So, 
I don't know, man. I, th I think the Bucks are still in a pretty good position. I still got them to win tonight. We'll come back here tomorrow and see if I was right. But even with Trey Young playing, I'm picking the Bucks to close it out tonight, man. I'm closing the Bucks to close it out tonight. Um, isn't Nate Diaz Mexican? Is 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 he? I I don't. I'm not. I don't know actually. I don't know what uh nest or nationality Nate Diaz is. Um, Tiger, remember for the dawn. For the dawn, what dawn? Moreno messed Figgy up in the rematch too. Yeah, no, Moreno is a is a is a killer man. Like he is a very very legit fighter. You know, like he. I think if you saw him on the street, he he wouldn't look the part because he he's not very big. Obviously, for he, it's a very low weight class, right? But he just he looks super friendly. He is super friendly, and he's. He would probably be holding like a Lego bag or something like that, wearing like an anime shirt or a, a video game shirt, like a Zelda shirt or something. But little do you know, this dude could probably knock you out, or or at least hurt you really bad, <laughs> you know, with a couple punches. So I don't know. I just think it's really cool. I just think it's really cool. Like when I when I saw that, I was like, yo, that's that's so awesome because he is he is literally one of us. Like he's just uh, this this huge nerd obviously not like nerd i don't think is a bad thing right like i think it used to have negative connotation back in the day but like now being a nerd is fine he's a huge nerd and he's also just this like badass fighter too um sterling has been carrying england bro today england produced some absolute heat england did england win today uh yeah nate diaz is american mexican so he wasn't the first in Oh, interesting. Interesting. Maybe he's the only active Mexican champion then? Because I heard something about it being a big... It may, maybe it's just him becoming the champion is a big deal. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I was wrong. Uh, Tiger, is it coming home? Is what coming home? What are you guys talking about? I'm, I'm pretty confused right now, man. Uh, England won against Ukraine 4 0. Oh, okay. Okay. Very cool. As I said, man, I never. I've never uh, followed like soccer too closely. You know? So. I, I don't really like know exactly what's going on, but it's cool to, to you know, have you guys fill me in, get me updated. Um, but yeah, basketball. Rock Lee, man, basketball is my favorite sport. I've always been, like, a big basketball guy for as long as I've been following sports, at least, right? I didn't really start watching sports until I was, I don't know, like, 11, 10, 11 years old. And uh, basketball was the first sport I started with. And, you know, recently I picked up football. I picked up, uh, you know, some combat sports, MMA, boxing, stuff like that. But basketball has always been, like, Number one for me. He has his half Mexican. His father's side is Mexican, so he's not really the first Mexican champion. Okay, so you're saying Moreno was the first, like, 100% Mexican champion. That, that doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Um, Suns taking it? Maybe. Maybe. I mean, the Suns are in a good position, especially with Giannis having... You know his knee issue, and the Bucks, or the the Hawks as well. Like Trey Young being banged up, right? So I'm not gonna like no. I'm I'm by no means saying if the Suns win, there's like an asterisk or whatever. Like people say, I think that's dumb. But my point is like the Suns are in a really good position to win it this year. Like I think at this point it's the Suns championship to lose. So hopefully it works out for them. Hopefully it works out. Uh, <laughs> Keone, what's good, man? Thanks for, uh, thanks for popping in. And yes, you can, you can keep asking. Um, still haven't picked up the game, still haven't played it, but maybe one of these days you'll get that. What's the game called again? Trails, Trails of Cold Steel gameplay. Maybe one day, maybe one day. Uh, are there any other AoE free to play units except for the second form Frieza and LR Krillin? Uh, yes, you have the EZA Raditz, 
who is okay. He's okay, but he's not really super reliable. If you're doing lower difficulties, he's fine, but on the higher difficulties, he doesn't do enough damage, I think, to consistently, you know, kill enemies. So, LR Krillin is still your best bet, man. LR Krillin is still your best bet. Hey Tiger, when will you continue the Ratchet and Clank series? Absolutely uh, loved watching it. Yes, Poetic Mercury. Um, I will be continuing it, but I can't promise that I'll be streaming it on YouTube. Um, if you really want to see me play Ratchet and Clank, I would recommend you follow me on Twitch. Okay, go over to my description, hit that link for my Twitch channel, and follow me there, because I might switch over to streaming Ratchet and Clank exclusively on Twitch, just to not dilute the channel too much. I think um, YouTube doesn't like it <laughs> when I do like console stuff because it, it, it just doesn't do that well. You know what I mean? So I want to keep console stuff to Twitch for the most part and then, you know, Dokkan and other gacha games and anime games on YouTube. Uh, Christian Ruiz! Thank you so much for the $2 dono, man. He says, what's happening, bro? Keep up the videos. I will, man. You know I will. There's no reason why I'll stop making the videos, but I'm glad you like them, man. Uh, my boy SJ Viper is here. What's up, Viper? Thank you for uh, posting the Twitch link, by the way. So for anybody that's not following me on Twitch, um, highly, highly recommend that you do so because I do play a lot of different games. Dokkan's obviously just one of them. And if you want to see me do other stuff outside of Dokkan, then Twitch is definitely the place to be. Uh, don't do Raditz like that. I mean, Raditz is, is fine. I'm just saying, like, he's not really that consistent um, for the World Tournament in harder difficulties. So you could use Raditz, but I think, you know, Frieza and Krillin are just much better, right, for attack all free-to-play units. <sighs> Yo, Tiger, go Cheeto over Cheeto. Uh, easy question, man. Easy answer. Uh, Gogeta has always been number one for me, so I, I I mean, I'm I'm team Gogeta all the way. Now, if you're asking me, like, are Gogeta units as a whole better than Vegito units? No, actually, it's it's quite the opposite. Um, generally speaking, if you look at, like, any time we've had comparable Gogeta and Vegito releases, Vegito has almost always been better. You know, like, the Vegito unit has always been better than the Gogeta unit. And a big reason for that is counters, man. Okay, the, this this counter mechanic that they gave a lot of Vegitos, at least the Super Vegitos, right? This counter mechanic is mad busted, man. <laughs> it's mad busted. So the fact that all these Vegitos have the counter, whereas Gogeta has attacked effective against all, which is good. Attacked effective is good, but it's not as good as counters. So yeah, I mean, it, it, it kind of, yeah, Sun Drip, it kind of seems like there's a bit of a bias towards Vegito's <laughs> by Akatsuki, just a little bit of a bias, but um, as far as like which character I like better, it's always going to be Gogeta, but I will admit that Vegito's as a whole like are better units than, than Gogeta's. Obviously, it's not like always the case, but for the most part, it's it's the case, yeah. Um, What if we don't have Broly? Is there another unit that's good? Yeah, DJ, DJ Bag, like I said, man, um, LR Krillin is one that everybody should have. Because he's free to play. You can get him for free if you just spend the time to farm him. So go for LR Krillin if you don't have LR Broly. How many points are you trying to get? Uh, Yovani? I don't really know. At least 30 million. 30 million for sure. And then after we get 30 million, I might get like a couple more runs in. You know, maybe 35, 40 million. But... I don't I don't really care that much about ranking in the tournament to be honest so um, yeah I'll get my mentions done and then from there we'll see I, I don't have any of the world tournament boost units what do I do uh world tournament boost units do you mean just like attack all units because LR Krillin as I said is is what you need to get <laughs> right um, oh, Dietrich, I'm Mr. Dono, man. Says Tiger, I'm going for it again. Also, much love. Oh, yes, so you're trying to go for a stream boss for the entire stream again, right? Well, you got it now. You're almost at full HP. So, 
We'll see what happens, man. Hope you keep it. Hope you, hope you can keep it. T Truth with the $2 dono. Shout out. Can you bless me with getting LR, MUI, Goku, and Vegeta? Uh, I can try. I can try. Good luck. Sending you luck. But I can't guarantee results. Alright, don't don't come back to me if it doesn't happen. So the game prefers Vegeta, but the movies and shows prefer Gogeta. Um, I guess you could say that. I guess you could say that because, like, in in every appearance of Gogeta so far, uh, actually that's not true. Okay, in the movies at least, Gogeta has always won his battles, right? We we were talking about this before. Gogeta in the movies has always won his battles, whereas Vegeta obviously hasn't always been the victor. So. In a sense, yeah, I guess if the game likes Vegito better, the anime likes Gogeta better. And I like Gogeta better. I, I, I've always liked Gogeta better. Uh, what are your thoughts on this world, this year's uh, worldwide celebration? Do you think that the units will outshine the 5th year LRs? Yeah, I do actually. I do, because if you think about the order or the time they were released on JP, the anniversary LRs come out like, what is it, like six, no, more than that, uh, seven months basically before the Worldwide Celebration LRs, right? So even though on Global, it's like they're coming out back to back, for JP players, they get the Anniversary LRs and then they get the Worldwide Celebration LRs like seven months later. So it makes sense actually that the World Worldwide Celebration LRs should be quite a bit better than the Anniversary LRs. Um, so yeah, man, I think the trend will continue this year. I think the anniversary units are still amazing, obviously, but the worldwide celebration LRs should actually outperform them if we follow the trend. Uh, don't worry, guys, I have 170 stones saved up so far. Could be enough, man. It could be enough. Tiger, any free-to-play unit suggestions? Um, I mean, it depends. What kind of team are you trying to, trying to build? Are you talking about the world tournament because for the world tournament the two you really want are either krillin lr krillin this guy or the second form frieza because those two are extremely good attack all units um but yeah man there's a lot of good free to play units out there you could you know focus on you could farm but what kind of team are trying to build hey c damn we get to catch another stream what's up man yeah no i streamed at a good time for you i know but a lot of people are telling me, they're like, bro, like we're only half an hour away from, from three days left. So you stream really late, but it, it's just one of those days, man. It's been a busy day, so I had to stream when I can, right? Christian with the $5 dono. Thank you for the hippo sticker as well. I like that. And uh, yo, Christian just became the new stream boss. Congratulations, Christian Ruiz, new stream boss. I'm sorry, Dietrich. He stole your spot, man. He stole your spot. Uh, what's up, Tiger? Fit is looking fresh, my boy. Hey, hype MMA. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank you, man. It's just the it's just the jersey, you know. Nothing, nothing too special. I am repping my city, though. Toronto, Toronto Raptors, number ten. Um, I mean, somebody's got to know. Somebody's got to know who's number ten. Who's who's sticker is this? Or who's sticker? <laughs> who's sticker? Who's jersey? Whose jersey is this? Uh, hey Tiger, it's me again. Just so you know that I have 4200 Dragon Stones, I am prepared for sixth, uh, sixth year. Um, yeah, I think I, I think you're I think you're ready. I think 4200 Stones is good. Yep, Ross family, you got it, man. Demar Derozan, Duck, Demar Derozan. Yep. Uh, Raptors, Loki, Whack Tiger. No offense. Look, man, if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. I, I know there are a lot of NBA fans that don't like the Raptors for X number of reasons, but I grew up in Toronto. I've, you know, been a Raptors fan since I started watching basketball, which was like 11, 12 years ago. So you can't convince me not to like the Raptors, man. You can't convince me not to like the Raptors. It's like, it, it, it's like my hometown team, right? So yeah, yeah I get it. I get it. You might not like us, but I'm always going to like them. <laughs> uh, how old are you, Tiger? Truth, I'm 26, man. I'm 26. Getting getting up there, but we're still, uh, we're, we're still, we're still doing okay. 
we're, we're still pretty young overall. You think the Bucks clinch or uh, Hawks force game seven? Dude, I am calling for Bucks to win it tonight. I think the Bucks will take it. I heard Trey Young's coming back, and they're still without Giannis. But I just truly believe that the Bucks are a better team, man. Maybe even without Giannis, they're a better team. So it's just my opinion. I'm sorry to Atlanta fans out there. If you're a Hawks fan, no offense. Okay, we're just talking facts. I, I'm not really a fan of either team. Just like based on my analysis of the series, I think the Bucks will win tonight. I could be wrong though. I could be wrong though. I mean, the Bucks did get blown out one time, right? So we'll see what happens, man. I'll watch the game for sure. I'll, I'll definitely be watching the game. Uh, I'm from Atlanta, so I'm a Hawks fan. Caleb, understandable, understandable. When tickets banner? Uh, which one? Which one are you talking about? The guaranteed LR one or the regular anniversary banner? Yo, WCF, I'm also 26 years old, Chinese Canadian who lives in Toronto. Oh my God, dude, we're like twins. But bro, <laughs> we're like twins, man. Both from Toronto, both Chinese Canadian, both 26 years old. Did we go to school together? Did we go to school together? We might have, man. <laughs> um, just because you said that, they'll lose. Maybe. Maybe. Look, man, I've, I've dabbled in some, you know, sports betting before. Not recommending it. I'm really not. Just did it for fun. Not, not with like a crazy amount of money, you know, just to make things a little bit more interesting. And overall, I have lost some money. So I've lost more than I've won. I've won decently big a couple of times but then i've gone on to lose all that so uh that should tell you how good i am at picking games okay you guys want you guys want my opinion you ask me questions i'll give you my opinion but one thing i will definitely mention is like i haven't been very on point <laughs> with my picks you know uh tiger i want to buy mui goku or ssp vegeta who is better dio goku goku's better so if you wait for, uh, I guess it would be November. Yeah, if you wait for November on Global, the Tenabata banner will bring back the 6th anniversary LRs. And at that time, you'll be able to buy one of them with coins. And Goku is the one you want to go for if you don't pull him. Goku is definitely the one that's, that's you know, the, the better value for your coins. Yo, who is a Celtics fan? <laughs> Make some noise. I mean, I love the Celtics back in... Uh, you know the the big three days because I really like that 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 team, but I can't say I'm a Celtics fan honestly. Um, I respect the Celtics, you know I respect I respect the franchise for just how legendary they are, but nah man, Raptors fan and 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 to be honest, you know losing to the Celtics last year uh, kind of made me dislike them a little bit, just a little bit, not 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 like hate them. But it, it's, it just hurt, man. I, I was, like, upset for, like, three days after that. Like, I didn't want to make any videos. I didn't want to stream. I didn't want to do anything for, like, three days straight. Because I was just so sad that my Raptors got knocked out. <laughs> Respectfully, screw the Celtics. I didn't say that. that. That was luck. That was luck. Okay, I didn't say that. Uh, do you agree with the statement that Stephen Curry is the greatest shooter of all time? Yeah. Who else would it be? If not Steph Curry, who else would it be? I mean, we've had a lot of good shooters throughout history, but no one as consistently, like, deadly as this consistently elite as Steph, right? And no one who can consistently make as many, like, sh crazy shots as he can, too. You know, like, from distance. Like, from, 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 like, deep, deep distance. So, it's gotta be Steph, man. It's gotta be Steph. I mean, like, Ray Allen, yes. Ray Allen was amazing. He's a legend. But... Can you, can you really say he's better than Steph Curry as a shooter? Like, what would be what would be the, the argument there? Tiger, good night. The cold in Brazil is hitting me hard. Okay, big head games. Have a good night, man. Sleep off the cold. Uh, hope you feel better soon. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow, man. 
I'll be back tomorrow, so so hopefully you're there too. Uh, Tiger, does World Tournament end 1 a.m. EST or 2 a.m. EST? It should be 2.30 a.m. EST. Tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Uh, I guess technically day after tomorrow. So we still got about a day and a bit. A uh, day and a half or so. Or less than that, but you know, more than a day. Overall, Team Bardock can clean through almost every event in the game. Helped me a lot when I just started the game. That's true, Giovanni. Yeah, um, almost every Dokkan event. Let's clarify that, right? They can't beat, like, super bad road stages. But if you need a team to help you, like, clear most of the Dokkan events in the game, then you can definitely use Team Bardock if you're a new player. That's why I tell a lot of people to, to farm Team Bardock, because... You know, one of the big issues when you first start is like not being able to beat Dokkan events to get Dokkan Awakening medals for the Unity pull. So if you get Team Bardock, then you're basically good to go. <clears throat> Hoping you guys get Jalen Suggs in the draft. It's a perfect fit. Is Jalen Suggs... I've never actually... Like, I, I saw his game winner. I saw that crazy game winner he hit, um, you know, during March Madness. But I really haven't really followed him too much aside from that. So... I actually don't know much about him. I don't know like how good he is, um, but I, I do know it's a pretty deep draft. So I think anyone we get at the number four spot, whether it be Mobley or one of the Jalen's, you know, um, looks like Cunningham's probably gonna go first. Maybe not. We'll see. But yeah, whoever we get at that four spot should be pretty good. Should be pretty, you know, solid. Either way, and like the Raptors, I'm, I'm probably biased, but I think we have like one of the best player development um, teams, I guess, or player development uh, systems. I don't know, but <laughs> like we just really good. We're really good at developing players, man. So I think uh, whoever we get should be should be good for us. Tiger, which of the sixth anniversary units do you like more? Uh, UI Goku, man. UI Goku. I can't lie. I mean, the other the, the other units are cool. Vegeta's great. Um, Golden Frieza, 17 is fine. If, you know, what? if I'm being completely honest, I don't care as much about the Part Two LRs. Like, I'll still go for them. I'll still do some summons, but I'm not that hyped for them. Like, how how are you guys feeling? How, how are you guys feeling? You know, let me try something real quick. Let me let me try to do this this poll thing. Um, I'm not sure how to do it on Twitch yet, but let me try do a poll on YouTube. Uh, okay, so let me see. Are you hyped for the part two LRs? LRs. And then we have yes or no ask. Let's try that. Let's try that. I don't know if you guys see it. Um, but we tried to do a poll on YouTube. Did it pop up? Can you guys see it? Can you guys see it? Okay, so we got, okay, we got 55 votes right now, 42% yes, 58% no. Uh, guys, vote, vote on the poll, vote on the poll, let me know how you guys are feeling. Because I'm not that hyped for them, like, I don't really, I don't, okay, I can't say I don't care, I'm still gonna go for them, I still want them. But, if I didn't pull them, would I necessarily be that upset? Not really. <laughs> not really. Uh, I'm only hyped for the U7 and not 17 in Frieza. Ah, I see, I see. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely much more hyped for the the Team Universe 7 too, compared to Golden Frieza and 17. Okay, so let me see. We have 152 votes right now, 59% no, 41% yes. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, so people in general are still... We still got a good amount of people, but it looks like more people are just, like, not super interested. They're just more interested in, I guess, the Worldwide Celebration. And and I'm probably going to end up recommending people to, like, skip Part 2 anyways and just, like, go for the Worldwide Celebration units because they're going to be so, so good, right? The Worldwide Celebration LRs are going to be so much better than the Part 2 LRs. Okay, we can end the poll there. There we go. End the poll there. Oh, we have one on Twitch too. Oh, was that you, Luck? Thanks, man. Okay, so... Luck 
<laughs> did the poll, and right now it's 88% no. <laughs> there we go, man. There we go. 89% no. Uh, Tiger, do you know Wendy's? Yes, I do know Wendy's. Like the restaurant, you mean? What about it? Tiger, how do you find attack all units? Uh, if you mean like in your box, if you want to know if you have any, you can go to the filters and uh, you can go to like filter by um, like a unit's effect, right? It's like one of the options, effect, attack, all, and uh, true super attack or something. Like that. I, th I think that's, that's one of the filters, I'm sure. So go through your filters, find that option, and you can find all the attack all units. Uh... Oh, 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 okay, so it's kind of like the, it's, it's kind of like the, uh, kind of like the Candace thing, all right. I mean, I don't really get, like, I don't really get how that's being baited, though, you know, like, you just get me to say, like, a name, you know, Wendy's or Candace, you're not really making me say something sus. Right? You're not really, not really making me something questionable. So, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't really consider that being baited. Being baited is like when you make me say something that, like, out of context, it sounds really weird, right? But that didn't happen. You know, that 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 didn't happen. So we're good. <laughs> we're, we're good. Uh, Tiger, make a poll on how many people actually take advice on skipping or just ignoring you advice on each banner. True, William. I'm not gonna make that poll because I think I know the answer. Oh, um, Ale, I'm Mr. Dono, man. Ale with the five dollar Dono. Tiger, are you gonna summon on Evolution Vegeta first or UI Goku? Uh, I'm gonna make a poll at that time. We're gonna do a poll and let people decide what they want to see um, on the stream. Are you planning to rainbow the kid Vegeta? Nope, nope. Um, if I get more than one one copy. That'd, that'd, be, that'd be cool, but just the one copy for me is, is fine. Uh, like Tiger's stream or your luck will be bad like yours on Legends. I don't know about that, but if you guys liked, or if you guys haven't liked today's stream, then make sure to like the damn stream, alright? Uh, send your boy Tiger some love, support the channel, they do help, believe it or not. The, the likes do help with engagement, so... Uh, yeah man if you're enjoying the stream definitely like the damn stream let's try to do the same thing we did yesterday and hit 500 likes at some point um i know it's gonna take a minute but let's 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 make our way man let's start start working towards that let's start working towards that crystal pete i'm happy as long as i get one copy of goku and vegeta oh the lr the easy a right um i mean for their banner it should be fairly I don't want to say easy, but it's going to be much easier than normal to get them on the ECA banner. Because there's only... How many featured units are on those banners? Like five or six or something like that? So the rates are pretty decent, actually. Uh, Tiger, I like you, but you spend too much time replying to each chat comment. No offense, bro. Would you rather than me just, like, say one word <laughs> responding to each? It's like... Man... I can never do anything right. I can never do anything right. It's like, if I spend too much time, someone's gonna be like, yo, you spend too much time. If I don't spend enough time, people are gonna be like, yo, you don't care about, you know, the comments, the people that, are, or you don't really like care about responding to people. Can't win. Can't win. Really can't. Um, I have 1,000 stones. Should I summon on one or both banners? Sam, that's up to you, man. Um, they're both really good, but... Goku is better, so, you know, <laughs> make your decision based on that, maybe, but I would go for both, obviously. Uh, I love you, I love how you answer our questions. Yeah, I mean, some questions I can, like, respond to with, like, one or two, you know, words, right? Whereas other questions, you know, I might have more to talk about, so it really depends on what the question is. Uh, please make a poll about which anniversary was more hype, six or five or six. Um, oh, you want, oh, you want me to, you want me to make a poll about which anniversary was more hype? I mean, the sixth anniversary hasn't happened yet. 
So that could probably be something I do like after the anniversary, the sixth anniversary is over, right? Because right now I feel like you know, some people know what's going to happen, but not everyone knows, right? Not all global players are following exactly what's going on in JP. So um, yeah, I'll make that poll later. I'll make that poll later. Have you finished how heavy are your dumbbells? Not yet, man. Not yet. Um, I will probably finish it tonight because I'm like pretty close. And yes, I'm still enjoying the crap out of that show. If you guys haven't seen how heavy are the dumbbells you lift, it's a it's not a new new anime, but it's it's a new one for me because I just discovered it a couple days ago. And it's just so funny for anybody that like goes to the gym or like works out. Um and also very informative too. So if you've been thinking about like, you know, starting to work out and you, you've been you've been thinking about getting into it, you know, getting into fitness or whatever, that show actually provides a ton of very, very informative, you know, tips and, and, and like, you know, teaches you how to do like a bunch of different exercises properly without injuring yourself and all that stuff. So like, it's just a good show, man. Just a very, very solid show. <laughs> Uh, man can't go to the gym, so he goes to the anime gym. Pretty much, pretty much. No, I'm not. I'm not even. I'm not even like, you know, messing around. Like that show legit provides a ton of like really good um, info for anybody that wants to get into into working out. Uh, <laughs> Terry, what's up, man? I'm I'm glad you like the tank. I'm glad you like the the, the jersey rather. Uh, how many sixth year anniversary tickets do you have? Snow Globe? I think I might have missed a few, man. I think I might have missed like 14 or something like that because I realized there were a few missions that I missed out on. So right now I probably have, I want to say like 60, 70 tickets, maybe a little bit more than that, but I definitely didn't finish all the missions because a few of those missions were kind of weird. It was like, oh, you have to you know, complete the stage using a support item, and I just don't do a lot of events where, like, on a regular basis at least, I'm using support items, right? So, that was probably one that I missed out on. Um, so yeah, right now I probably have like 70 tickets or so. I like informative animes like Sales at Work. Yeah, I heard good things about Sales at Work. I've, I've heard good things about Sales at Work, but I never watched it. Uh, Tiger, how come you're not answering my question? I might have missed it. Let me see. Goopy, what did you say? Um, do Global have different banners than other one? If you're talking about versus JP, uh, generally speaking, the, the banners are the same, but sometimes they'll swap out like one or two units if like there was a unit on the JP banner that was recently featured on Global, then they'll like switch out that unit, but most of the time, we get the same banners on Global and JP. Uh, what's your bro split? <laughs> Pseudo. So, right now, it's kind of hard for me to, you know, have like a proper split or like even do like proper workouts because I'm only working out from home. The gym is still closed for me. So, uh, what I like to do is do um, chest first. That's the first day, right? Just focus on chest. Do like four or five exercises for chest. And then second day, I'm doing shoulders. Third day, I'm doing uh, back. And then for my fourth day, I'm doing legs. And then sometimes I'll take a break depending on how I feel. Like I'm, if I'm feeling really, you know, gassed, really tired, then I'll take a break for that day. You know, take a day off on the fifth day, or I might just do some like cardio and call it a day. Um, if not though, then I'll just rip, you know, continue that split. So go chest, uh, shoulders, back legs chest shoulders back legs so on and so forth just keep doing that once i go to the gym again i'll probably condense into a three-day split but for now that's what i've been doing at home and it's better than nothing you know like at the very least i'm doing something at home while the gyms are closed um but yeah man the gyms cannot open anytime any any, any sooner you know because i've been i've been missing it man it's been tough it's been tough to do home workouts you mean side or chest though? Bro, I've been saying that so much and, and Taya's been like so annoyed, man. Like I just say it like every opportunity I get. 
because I just love the show, man. It's so good. It's so. It, it's just so ingenious. Like whoever created that show, I, I forgot who the writer was, but they're like my new favorite manga artist, manga writer, because they're just they get it, man. They know how to make comedy. Um. Yes, Hyper David. It's three days to go now. You're right. You're right. It's it's we've crossed over into the three day territory, but I started at four days, so technically I'm still kind of right with the stream title. We started at three days. This is just like the first day, right? The first day I started too late, and then it became three days, or it became six days rather. But it's okay. It's okay. We're good. Just lost my 35 win streak. Always use the ghost ushers. Yes, ghost ushers are key, man. Ghost ushers are key. Um, three days left. Hype. I have so many Kai's ready to SA20 UI Goku. Dark Thunder. Hope you pull him, man. <laughs> Hope you pull him. It'd be sad if he didn't. Uh, Tiger should try my four day split. I do chest, try, back, shoulder. Oh, back, by, shoulders, legs. Or a simple PPL. Dukes, I mean, what I'm doing right now is working for me. I feel pretty good, so... Yeah, I mean, I'll keep it as is until the gym's open, and then I'll probably, you know, change it up a little bit. But for the time being, I'm gonna just keep it, you know, because it, it feels good, you know? Like, I, I'm not too tired ever. Like, I'm not, like, ever too sore from a workout where I can't do the workout the next day. And, uh, of course, having legs to, like, break up the upper body, you know, days um, always helps too right because it gives my, my upper body a chance to recover from the three day split before that uh this means no stream tomorrow no man we're streaming tomorrow too we're streaming tomorrow too i'm just gonna be streaming a little bit earlier so that we don't ever cross into you know two days left during the three day stream uh when is the fishing with little bro stream fishing with little bro when did i say i was gonna do that I mean, we've gone fishing together before, but I don't know if, about, if I'm going to be streaming that. It'd be really hard, too, because on the water, like, getting reception and everything, that'd be a, that'd be a tough stream to, to run, for sure. Tiger, you won't believe this, but I pulled LR Turles on a single summon yesterday. Uh, Johnny, why would, I not, why would I not believe you, man? <laughs> that That's dope. That's dope. Congrats. Just, you better hope that you don't, um... Use up all your anniversary luck, man. Better hope that that you still got some luck left in in the chamber for the anniversary after pulling that off. I just got a burger. What kind of burger? What kind of burger you get, man? What started your love for 18? Um, you know, it's it's one of those things you can't you can't explain. Um, it just kind of happens. Like it's. It's like love at first sight, you know? As soon as I saw 18 for the first time in Dragon Ball as a kid, it was it was it was a rap. You know, that 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 was that. So I can't I can't really say like a specific reason. It just kinda happened, man. It just kinda happened. Uh <laughs> you can't explain love, exactly. Exactly. Can't explain love, dude. Uh hopefully I don't get shafted on my on the banners after my birthday. I would be livid. Dude, I would be too. I would be too. You you better pull those LRs on your birthday. Do the banners drop on the 8th or 9th? Caleb, I'm pretty sure it's one of those situations where it depends on your time zone because it's going to be like the night of, you know, the 8th for like people that go by like PST or like similar time zones. And then for people like me, Eastern time zone, um, it's going to be the, the morning of the 9th. So... It depends, basically. Tired of World Tournament. Hope 60 million is enough to keep my 1,000 to 2,000 placement. 60 million is a lot. I don't know about 1,000. Uh, I mean, what's your what's your placement right now? Are you are you in between 1 to 2,000? I, I don't think you can stop, man. I don't think you can stop. You still gotta grind for... I mean, there's still like more than 24 hours to go, right? So I would still do some more runs just to ensure that placement uh all right fortnite man have a good night thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow most likely 
61 million is at 1,000. Okay, so... Yeah, I feel like it's too early to stop, dude. I think you gotta still keep stream, uh, keep grinding to like at least, I don't know, 80 mil or something like that to feel safe about that 1,000 placement. Kinda annoyed that Canada lost earlier. Dude, I saw that. I'm so disappointed. I'm actually so disappointed. Like, we were easily the most stacked team in that tournament, right? If you guys don't know what we're talking about, it's for it's for basketball, it's for the Olympics. Um, Team Canada for basketball has never really performed that well, but this year we had a pretty stacked team, okay? We had eight NBA players on the team. You know, no, like, superstars, but we had some, like, good players, you know? And some, like, young talent, like some up-and-coming guys. And we lost in this qualifier tournament that that was really ours to win like we had the best team honestly i, I think we did I, i'm i'm biased obviously but i think we had the best team and we lost to the czech republic man i mean like i'm sure they have a good team too but like this was a good team you know the the rat the, 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 the canadian team was solid and i thought this year like you know there would be a team i could watch outside of the the us like destroying everybody I could root for in basketball, and they didn't make it. They didn't make it. They're not qualifying for the for the for the Olympics, so I'm pretty disappointed too, man. I'm pretty pretty disappointed too. Of course, like there's no way we were gonna medal or anything like that. I don't think like we wouldn't we wouldn't have come close to to touching the USA team, but it still would have been fun to watch the Canadian basketball team a couple of. For, for a couple of games at least during the, during the Olympics, you know? And like, it's not gonna happen now. Cause they, cause they lost. Team US is pretty nutty. Team US is always nutty, man. Team US is always, you know, super stacked, you know, with all those NBA, all, all that NBA talent. Um, like, I, if they don't like cruise to the gold medal, I would be shocked. I really would. I'd be super surprised if Team USA doesn't win the gold again. Canada only got GSP and he retired. For MMA, yes, we only got GSP. I mean, we got a couple of okay guys. Tanner Bozer. Tanner Bozer just got that KO uh, last week. Or was it two weeks ago? That was last week. So we got him. We got a couple of others. But no, like, real you know, like super legit contenders, that's for sure. <clears throat> kind of unfair how good they are. Yeah, that's true. It's true. I, it, it's definitely... <laughs> it's definitely unfair, but, you know, the USA just has all that talent, right? You can't really blame them. They they, they work hard to develop that talent. Um... And yeah, man, they just got like all, all the, not all of them, but like a lot of like the best NBA players in their team. Like, how are they supposed to lose? How's anybody supposed to beat them? Uh, Tiger, I got my first copy of High School Gohan. Abul, congrats. That's good. That's good. Don't watch sports, but that sounds tragic. It was tragic. It was tragic. I'm very sad about it, man. I'm, I'm very sad about it. I mean, don't, don't let my smile fool you. It's, it was very disappointing when I heard about that. Uh, I got shafted on the weekend banner outside of game the Int Topo and Prime Troopers, who I didn't have. That's not a shaft, dude. At least you got a new unit. I mean, most people, I mean, maybe not the most people, but a lot of people don't get new units on the, on the weekend banner. So I would take that as a win. I would take that as an absolute win. USA competes high level in like every sport besides soccer. Yeah. I mean, men's soccer. The U.S. women's team is amazing. But yeah, men's soccer for U.S. is not, not very good. Tiger, you're in the finals. Why didn't you try to get the World Tournament medals before battling? Because honestly, man, I have so many World Tournament medals that I don't really care about collecting them anymore. Like, I have more than enough to Dokken Awaken everybody I need to. So I'm not really, like, too focused on collecting them uh what do you think about serbia and nikola Jokic? um i don't 
really know too much about Serbia as a country, but I know Jokic is a monster. <laughs> I love Jokic as a player, man. He's so he's so smart. Like he's so smart, such a finesse player, and it, he's a classic example of like don't judge a book by the cover. Because like when you honestly when you when you look at Jokic, he looks kind of goofy, right? He doesn't look like he's this like amazing basketball player. No offense. But like he's not in the best shape, you know. He he's he's pretty, you know, kind of heavy, that's right? But he's just so good, man. He he's just such a great player, and I I I think he deserved MVP for sure. Uh, I'm definitely one of those people that um, you know, but what about it for him if I could, you know? So yeah, I like Jokic a lot, but in terms of Serbia. Not too much of an opinion. I don't really know much, much about it, you know? Man's fat, that good, but good. He is, though. Like, he's, he's, he doesn't look like he's in great shape, but he obviously is for, for him to be able to play, like, 35, 40 minutes per game in the NBA. So he's obviously in great shape. He just doesn't, he doesn't look like it. So you, you, you should never judge a book by its cover, is what I mean. Tiger is your free favorite Street Fighter character... Sagat. It's Sagat, right? I've heard Sagat. I'm pretty sure it's Sagat. Anyways, um, my favorite Street Fighter character to use actually back in the day was Zangief. I, I, I know what you mean because of the channel name. Um, but yeah, Zangief was my guy. <laughs> Zangief was my guy. Embiid would have got MVP if not injured. Tragic. Embiid, yeah, he just can't stay healthy, man can't stay healthy like he's so good when he's health when he's healthy but he just always picks up something during the season so i think as long as that's a trend as long as he doesn't play like full seasons it's going to be very hard for him to win mvp versus someone that like is healthy throughout the entire season hey tiger how would you design lr kid boost passive if you could austin loaded question gotta give it some thought man gotta give it some thought how, how about this let me throw it back at you how would you design? How would you design uh, LR Kid Boost passive if you could? Thank <laughs> you, my guy spinning all over the place. Yeah, man, I was spinning all over the place. I was, uh, you know, hugging guys, smashing their heads into the ground. It it, it was fun, man, and it was like I, th I think I liked him because like he was a fairly easy character to to use while being kind of bad it's like i'm not really good at fighting games so i just picked a guy that like allowed me to kind of deal like heavy damage without landing a lot of hits because like zangief like if you if you grab somebody like you're doing a lot of damage right like all of his stuff does like hits hard so that's probably why i gravitated towards him <laughs> and he's also funny too man zangief like just such a funny character uh your thoughts on my boy jason tatum He's superstar, man. Jason Tatum's a superstar. He is gonna be like one of the guys in the league, like one of the one of the top guys in the league in the future for sure. Um, he's he's already arguably already there, but you know, at, at his age, being as good as he is, uh, yeah, he he he's one of those guys. I feel like potentially could win an MVP one one day, you know, like, like in the in the future, because he he is that good, and he's also like that young. Like I heard he's only 19 years old. <laughs> well, not actually, but the meme is uh, everyone's like, "Yo, he's only 19." Every time he does something crazy, um, but no, he's only like 21. He's like 22, right? Or something like that. So like, dude, he he's gonna be amazing for a long time. Uh, Tiger, do you have a Discord server? A bull? I don't, but I, I, I plan to make one in the future. So stay tuned for that. It's in the works. It's in the works. Uh, what about my boy Channing Tatum? Great guy, man. Channing Tatum is a great guy. Uh, pretty much enjoy all his movies. <laughs> Very funny. So both Channing Tatum and Jason Tatum. Are, are awesome in my books uh wish me good luck for my game against the flowers and i hope you make my day thanks tiger you're number one game against flowers what does that mean 
I mean, good luck. Good luck. I don't know exactly what that means. But... I, I, I wish you luck. Uh, he's 24. Oh, he's 24 already? Damn, okay. I thought he was younger. I thought he was like 22, but but still, still young though. Still young. Yeah, Booker is 22. Aiton's only 22. Or sorry, Booker's 24. Aiton is 22. Aiton though looks much older than 22, but that's just his face, I think. He just looks old. That's just like the face he has. Um, But yeah, man, the Suns. The Suns are going to be good for a long time too. The Suns got a really bright future with... Uh, with, with Booker and Aiden, and also like uh, guys like Campaign, uh, you know, uh, Cam, Cam Johnson, you know, they got like a, such a good young core. I basically completed all of Dokkan. I mean, I could say the same thing Apollo, but I still find ways to enjoy it. How is your day so far, Tiger? I know player's been good. It's been good. Uh, God is Goku, or sorry, Goku is God. Goku is God. What's up, man? Uh, watch your YouTube. Thanks, man. Um, yeah, I'm streaming on YouTube and Twitch at the same time, so feel free to watch me on other side. Which young NBA player has the most potential in your opinion? Ooh. That is a tough question. Which young NBA player has the most potential? Um... I don't know. There's so many, man. There's so many good ones. Like, uh, we just talked about Jason Tatum, Devin Booker, uh, Donovan Mitchell, Jamal Murray. Although, I don't think Murray is like quite on the level of those guys yet. Um, I think Murray is like a little bit too inconsistent to be like on the same, quite on the same level, but he definitely could get there. Uh,. Zion, of course, Zion Williamson, like, come on, this dude has kind of, like, flown under the radar, man, but, like, he was averaging, like, 26 and 8 or something last season, so he is still on his way up and could be, like, one of the greats, I think, at some point. Uh, John Morant, Trey Young, of course, um, Luka Doncic, how did I forget about Luka Doncic, man? <laughs> Luka Doncic, of course, Luka Doncic, at his, at his rate right now that he's playing, like, could, could be, like, the next, like, you know, face of the fan, or face of the NBA, if people, if people say, right, kind of like LeBron is right now, like, he could be that guy, um, in the future, so, I don't know, man, there's so many good, like, LaMelo, yeah, no, for sure, Mary Band just said LaMelo, 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 you know, in his first season was mad impressive, we'll, we'll have to see more from him, but he also is like, you know, a potential like all-star in the future for sure, so I don't know, I don't know, there, there's too many options, there's too many options, you're, you're, you're asking, you're asking me something that I just gotta think about really hard before I answer, <laughs> Uh, Luca or Giannis will be the next face, in my opinion. Maybe, maybe, um, Giannis. I think Luca is more likely because he's just younger, and 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 I don't know. He's maybe a little bit more controversial too. Uh, I, I think between those two, Luca definitely has a better chance of being like the face, if you will, which would be pretty cool because you know the NBA hasn't really had like an international player that was considered that guy, right? It's always always almost always been an American guy for for the most part. Um as far as I can remember, you know, we got like Jordan, we got Kobe, LeBron, maybe others you can consider the face, but it's it's mostly like not it's, it hasn't really been an uh, international player that's been that guy. <laughs> I'd like to personally apologize to the LeBron fan. You know that you own the Raptors organization for three years straight. Uh, yeah, man, it wasn't fun. It wasn't fun, but it's okay. I don't hate him for it. You know, it's not his fault. We just couldn't figure him out, man. We just didn't have an answer for him every single year, and it sucked to get knocked out over and over again by the same guy, but... Hey, I respect him still. Uh, Janko, like I said, Jokic is a beast, and I think he definitely deserved MVP. 
Uh, is it just because of the lack of team build? Oh, why are there world tournament teams with FTC teams? Wait, what do you mean FTC teams? Can you please elaborate a little bit more? Because I'm kind of confused. Hey, Tiger, do you like working on your abs? I hate working out my abs. Uh, yeah, ab workouts are not much fun. I don't like them too much. Um, because... I don't know, it just doesn't give you really like the, the, the same like pump, you know, that you get from like working out like your legs or your arms or your chest, your back, you know, like it just doesn't feel quite the same. So it doesn't feel as rewarding after you do an ab exercise compared to like other exercises, I guess. But it is still important, obviously, man. Having a strong core is is key, right? Like not only for aesthetics or right, aesthetically but also to like protect yourself from injury so yeah man i still do it i just uh, yeah you're right though i don't like it too much uh do you think porzingis is a lost cause no i don't think so man i think i think he can still be good in the right situation uh maybe dallas just isn't the right situation for porzingis um hello man oh hello tiger have you seen the anime code Gias? no i haven't i haven't i've seen the first two episodes that's it though i know it gets really good so i gotta go back at some point but unfortunately i haven't um you know watched the entire thing yet derelict five uh derelict one with the five dollar dono uh, thank you so much. He says, Dirk, Nash, Ginobili, Matumbo, Ming equals international players. Oh, are you referring to my comment about how there's no, Dirk, there's, Nash, hasn't been an international Matumbo, face Ming of franchise, or of the NBA, rather? Um, yeah, those guys are all amazing in international players, of course, but what I'm talking about is, like, you know, like, the, the guy that's considered, like, the, the best player in the NBA, the best player in the world, the guy that represents the NBA, you know, like, I don't think an international player has ever been that, right? Because during like these guys, like, you know, during their time playing, it was either, you know, Kobe, it was LeBron, it was uh, Jordan, you know, like maybe Shaq at some point, right? Before before Kobe, but like the point is like, it, it's that, that, that guy that's considered the best, that, that's like the face of the league. I don't think it's been an international player before. Uh, gotta go. Bucks game starts very soon. All right, Dark Thunder. Understandable, man. Wait, let me see. It's currently 8.30. Is that when the game starts? Oh, okay, yeah, so it's supposed to start at 8.30. Usually they start like 10, 15 minutes late, but um. Yeah, man, if you gotta go watch the game, go watch the game. I'm probably gonna start watching from the second half. I usually like to, uh, I mean, unless it's like, you know, the Raptors or something like that. Uh, I usually like to start in the second half because that's typically when the action begins. Um, unless it's a blowout, then it's not really worth watching anyways. If like a team is up by 20 at the half, then you probably don't need to watch it. I mean, sometimes crazy comebacks happen, but it's kind of rare. So, yeah, I'm going to start watching the second half. Hopefully, it's a close game. So, uh, it'll be worth watching after the half. Filipino here, and we have six man of the year, Jordan Clarkson. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I think I forgot about that. I forgot he was uh, Filipino, but that's that's dope, man. That's dope. Trey is back for this game. Yes, Trey is back. Uh, to be honest, I don't think Dirk was appreciated to us last season maybe not as much as he should have been maybe not as much as he should have been tiger do you have any tips on starting a jp account um in, w in what sense in what sense like how to get jp dokkan or like what to do once you start or what uh what do you think will happen the dragon ball movie 2022 oh, like what i oh, like what is gonna happen in the movie I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, but in terms of like what I want to see come back, in terms of like villains, I get that question a lot. Uh, I want to see either Cooler or Janemba, but for Janemba, I, I feel like they would have to give him the Broly treatment, you know, like they would have to give him some personality because Janemba, as cool as he looks, as like great of a character design as he has, 
he was not very interesting as a character because, in my opinion, because of his lack of like dialogue. You know, he just couldn't really talk. So, um, I would like to see Janemba for sure, but I want them to like make him kind of a Broly, not like a good guy really, but just give him some more personality. That's what I mean. Uh, can we get a new Hatchiak? New Bojack? Bojack would be cool. I, I wouldn't be opposed to Bojack. Yeah, Janemba was a very dull villain. He was. Yeah, he was He was dull, but also not at the same time, right? Because he looked awesome. Like, Janemba was one of the coolest looking villains, in my opinion. Like, of all Dragon Ball villains. He just had a really cool look to him. But he was very dull in terms of, like, any lack of any personality. And, and my favorite villains in Dragon Ball are always the ones that have, like, a funny dialogue. Or just have, like, a really interesting story or personality. And Janemba just didn't have that at all. So hopefully they, they do that with him. Tiger, have you seen the Bleach anime? Yes. Absolutely, man. Uh, Bleach was actually one of the first anime shows I've seen, right? And, uh, you know, once the... The, the anime ended once they stopped making it. I finished it through the manga, but I'm super excited for Bleach, man, to come back because there's like a bunch of like Bankais that we ha need to see animated. There's a bunch of like, you know, just different powers that we need to see, right? And like, that's, that's gonna be pretty sick. Even though I feel like the last arc was kind of like all over the place, you know, like it had its highs and lows, but I just want to see like what these Bankais actually look like in animated form. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. My boy D. Simon's coming through. What's up, what's up, what's up? We got a bunch of people, man. A bunch of new people from uh, D. Simon's raid. Yo, thank you, D. Simons. Thank you. Welcome, Kusa, Caruso. Or sorry, Karu Rosa, Titan Wolf. Uh, Morito, Blackie, uh, Tonio, X Saber, Noel, JK Owen, Sack. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you to everybody who uh, who tuned in from the the D Simons raid. Yeah, where's my boy D Simons, man? This guy, this guy should be in his raid. Where, where's D Simons? Let me find him. We gotta hit six 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 likes for the sixth anniversary. Yeah, no, my bad. Um. I know, I know the, the raid thing is like really loud, it's really, really loud, but for this one it was worth it, because cause we got a huge raid on Twitch, man, 230 plus people from D Simons, uh, D Simons, X Tiger, bro, my dream, yo, Titan Wolf, man, one day, one day, you know what, maybe for the anniversary, maybe for the anniversary, we'll, we'll set something up. We haven't talked about it yet, but <sighs> D. Simons is my boy, man. He's helped me so much in um, in the chain battles, and uh, yeah, I would love to work with him. I would love to work with that guy. Hey, dude, I didn't know that you have a Twitch channel, Ashley in Spanish, and love your videos on YouTube. Hey, that's awesome, Kusa. That's awesome to hear, man. That's awesome to hear. Yeah, me and D. Simons collab coming soon. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Uh, where did you get the idea of naming the Twitter account Eats Like Goku? It was pretty simple, man. I mean, Tiger Upcut Media wasn't going to work because it was too long. Um, because they only limit you to like 12 characters or something like that. So Tiger Upcut Media was like 15 characters, I believe. So that wasn't going to work. So I was like, okay, something Dragon Ball related. We should go with something Dragon Ball related. And I was like, man, what would make sense for me? I eat a lot of food. Goku eats a lot of food. So eat like Goku. <laughs> what could could be you know something we could go with? And uh, no one had taken it, so that's how it came out with my Twitter handle, Eat Like Goku. I just eat a ton, man. Like I've done a bunch of like eating competitions, um, and you know won some of them too. And among all my friends, like I'm always the guy that eats the most. I'm always the guy that eats my food. And then we'll also eat somebody else's food too if they can't finish it. So that's just how it came to be, man. Uh, yo, what's good? Trying to go through the day three to one thumbs, but it's tough. 
yo, there it is. If you can't do all three, just give me at least like the one for tomorrow, maybe like the day for the one for the day after, so I can like feel safe about you know being able to get these streams out. Um, but if you can, like, if you can only do one today, that's cool too. That's cool too. You know, I, I don't want to put too much pressure on you. Uh, is Simon's a Dokkan tuber? Yes, Steve Simon's is a Dokkan YouTuber. Um, he is a Spanish Dokkan tuber, but uh, great guy. You know, we we've had our interactions on Twitch. He's helped or Twitter rather. He's helped me a lot with chain battle. He uh, is really into sneakers too, which I am as well. So we've connected through that as well. But uh, yeah, he's just a good dude. Just a, just a really nice guy. Uh, have beaten Extreme Tech Super Battle Road today. Yo, that's a huge accomplishment, man. That is a huge, huge accomplishment. Congratulations, Arda. I was at 10 times difficulties, then enemies, LR Broly, I super attack my team. It hit my team for 400k each. You can't get hit, man. You can't get hit in 30x. Oh, wait, 10x. Oh, you were in 10x and the LR Broly hit you for 400k? Bro, that's crazy. Okay, I guess you just can't get hit by supers in general in Super Battle Road. Or sorry, not Super Battle Road. In the World Tournament. Because it basically means instant death. Um, if you get hit by a super, it's just, it's over for you. Uh, not so good. Also, I always thought of you. Of eat like Goku in my head as in eating like Goku because you got the gains. Man, it's not about the gains though. It's not about like how I look or whatever. It's just about the fact that I eat a crap ton of food. Or I can. I can. These days I'm trying to, you know, be a little bit smarter with uh, my diet, you know, my, my food choices. But, yo, know, when I let loose, when I go all out, I, I, it'd, be, it'd be hard to find somebody that can eat more than me. You know, like the average person, the average person can definitely not out eat me. You know, it, it would take like somebody who's maybe like a huge person or just somebody who was like a, you know, semi competitive eater, I think, to actually take me down, man. Because, yeah, uh, it, it, there's there's a lot of things I can say like I'm not very good at, but eating is not one of them. <laughs> eating is not one of them, man. Uh, yeah, Arda, I am a global main. I'm a global main. Uh, I play JP, but not anywhere close to as much as I play, play global. Toronto got good food though. Toronto's got good food because we got a lot of different kinds of food. Like we just have people from like all over the place, right? Like it's a very um, diverse community, right? It's a very diverse, you know, city. So, um, you know, we get food from everywhere, man. That's why it's so good. You still looking good, Tiger? Eat all you want, brother. Need it for them chimp gains. <laughs> yeah, man. Of course, you can't. You can't make gains after your workouts if you don't eat right so like i'm still eating a good amount of food i'm not starving myself um if you if you like you know go like, too extreme with your diet you're just gonna lose all the muscle that uh you had built you know in the past working out like it's just not worth it so i'm definitely taking it slow i'm definitely like still eating a good amount but i'm trying to cut back on like just stuff that's not necessary like you know uh sweets uh oh anything that's super like fat like like heavy like high oil content stuff like you know anything fried like i still eat that stuff sometimes but like i'm trying to cut back on it uh so they teased us they pulled the announcement for an announcement thing however there will still be stone ocean live streaming event on august 8th mark your calendars got it got it okay so essentially the announcement today was that there's going to be an announcement on August 8th. <laughs> that sucks, man. <laughs> that's that's unfortunate. Um, oh, Bruno. LR Kid Boo passive, below 75% HP, short video. Without arm, gain 75% attack and defense, below 50% HP, short video. Arm without legs, regenerating, gain 150% attack and defense. Low 80%, gain 300% attack and 200% defense. Wait, but if he doesn't have, what if you're at full health though? Would he have no passive if you were at full health? And and, okay, so that's a crazy passive. Are you telling me that if uh, if you're below fifty percent HP in your case, this guy would have something like 
600% attack and defense or something like that. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a bit too much, I think, man. That's a bit too much. Uh, is there going to be a new boo unit? Not that we know of. Not that we know of. I mean, eventually, yes, for sure. But um, Bruno's just like talking about like a potential passive for an LR kid boo if he comes out in the future. But could you imagine we have a unit that like has no passive at 100%, but below 50% HP, he gets like 600% attack, like 500% defense. That'd be interesting. I don't know if they would have the... I don't, I don't know if they just would be willing to release a unit like that, but definitely, definitely interesting. What are you most excited about for the 6th anniversary? Um, lots of content, lots of content. I'm excited for the uh, God of Destruction event. I'm excited for the EZAs for UI Goku and Goku and Frieza. Uh, new boss rush, of course. Uh, Infinite Dragon Ball History stage. Um, as far as units, obviously, the the Master of Ultra Instinct Goku, and then second to that would probably be the Max Power Master Roshi, because we've been needing a really good Master Roshi for for forever, right? Since the game started, so I'm glad that Master Roshi got him got him some love. So uh, yeah, those are the main things I would say. Those are the main things. Uh, like 150k subs during the anniversary. I don't know about 150k, man. I don't know about 150k, but maybe 135. If we can get to 135 by the end of the anniversary, that would be that would be solid. That would be really solid. Yeah, Pistol Pete, I'm super excited for Roshi. Roshi, Roshi. I mean, not only is it a Roshi, which I've been asking for for forever. He's a beast, man. <laughs> LR Master Roshi is a monster. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited for multiple reasons for that. Last year we hit 100k during the anniversary. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. And it's been kind of slow since, man. It's been it's been pretty slow since. Um, I'm not gonna lie. You know, our the, the the growth of the channel has actually, you know, kind of not halted. We are getting a few, you know, every day, but it's been it's been very slow. But I think the anniversary will definitely give us the boost we need and uh while i don't think it's gonna be as crazy as last year where i gained like 20 to 25k subs or something like that during the anniversary if we can gain like 5 to 10k that would be great that would be awesome uh sub tiger how you doing you plan on going for the rainbow for both units it's not it's not in the it's not in the plans but it might just happen naturally it might just happen naturally we'll see how it goes Waiting for the six year has made me feel like the longest week. Uh, has made this feel like the longest week ever. Hey, Cope. I agree, man. I agree. Hopefully these streams have made it a little bit less painful. But yeah, man. I mean, these countdowns always feel so long. Especially towards something that you actually are excited for. Uh, Batsy says, well, if it isn't Tiger. Batsy, what's good? How you doing, man? I finally got Jojo dub in Brazilian Portuguese, and the Goku's voice is the first Jojo. Oh, interesting. Okay, so Jojo dub in Brazilian Portuguese. So you're saying the Brazilian Portuguese Goku voices Jojo. Is that what you're trying to say? I'm a little confused. <laughs> I'm a little bit confused. Nah, 200k easy. Mr. Baby, man, you're crazy. You you gotta make a lot of a lot of fake accounts to, to get me to 200k. You gotta make you gotta make at least like 70k accounts on your own to make that happen. I, I don't see that happening. Uh, I just started JP Dokkan. Any advice? Um, kid Duck. I would give the same advice to anybody that starts. You know, global Dokkan. You know, it's kind of the same thing. Like. Uh, work on your team Bardock, get those guys so you can awaken your, your units by getting, you know, the Dokkan events done. And, uh, aside from that, uh, you know, grind your stones, save up for the worldwide celebration <laughs> that's coming up. Uh, maybe throw a few stones at the Santa Bata banner, because you are a new account, right? So a lot of those units would be good for you. 
Um, and yeah, then, then just keep saving for the Worldwide Celebration, because that's going to be amazing. Right, those units are always like top tier. Wait, my bad. 200,000, 200,001. I'm <laughs> line with PewDiePie, hold up. Yo, if PewDiePie gives me the shout out, then I'm sure we'll get to 200k. I'm sure we'll get to 200k if we get that boost from PewDiePie. But outside of outside of that, I don't think so, man. I don't think it's gonna happen. Uh, Tiger, do you think 1k stones is enough for anniversary? Uh, 1k is good. 1k is good, but we never know. You can you can never know. It's just RNG at the end of the day. So it might be enough to to. To, to rainbow both of them for all you know it could be not enough to get a single copy right that's just how it is all right people three days until the sixth anniversary from now on yep three days to go now three days to go now Sharnome, you're late man where you been where you been you think dokkan will keep running even with a lack of content i think dokkan will have enough content to keep going for at least another three four years to be honest because we got the the movie coming up, we probably got the anime returning as well at some point, you know, in the near future. Um, and then we also have like, you know, heroes with all their crazy characters over there. We got, uh, you know, probably more like Dragon Ball games coming up too, right? Where we can do collabs with them and pull content from there. Um, and worst comes to worst, if they get really desperate, maybe they'll actually start doing collabs with other properties too, right? Like other anime with other games, which is something I really want to see. Um, so yeah, I think they'll, they'll be able to figure out a way to keep this game going for a long time. For at least another 3-4 years at minimum. <laughs> Although we still get, oh, if 1k is what you got, you gotta have... It's gonna have to be enough, although we still get quite a bit during the anniversary, so... Yeah, exactly, yeah. As Narrative said, like, we're getting a lot of stones. During uh, the celebration, it should be over 800, compared to, like, what JP got. You know, they got around 800, so... I don't expect Global to really get shafted in that department, so... If the 1,000 is not enough, you'll still get more stones during the anniversary, you can do more summons then, so... I wouldn't worry about it too much, man. <clears throat> guys there's no good amount of stones <laughs> yes that that's what i what i basically mean to say every time but i want to like say it in a way that like you know for somebody who hasn't seen me or heard me explain the whole thing from front to end in a way they understand right it's just rng it might be enough it might not be enough it depends uh sorry bro i've been visiting my fam oh that's cool that's cool put an open twitch there finally came back home <laughs> family comes first man Family, family comes first. A big reason why I streamed so late today was because I was with my family for uh, for a bit, you know, for a good amount of time. So I get it, man. I totally get it. If you got family duties, it's all good. They updated the 12 key super, and I highly doubt they'll update 18 key as well. 18 key for who? Oh, for Majin Vegeta, you mean? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, they're probably going to leave LR Majin Vegeta as is. Um, because I think they probably want to save like a really, really amazing uh, final explosion super attack animation for a new Majin Vegeta, right? Like a new LR Majin Vegeta or whatever. So I don't think they're going to put all that time into just revamping the one that LR Majin Vegeta already has. They're probably going to devote that and give that to a new unit they can make a summon for and, uh, you know, spend more money on, right? Uh, we'll get a new Final Atonement. Is it called Final Atonement? Final Atonement. Yeah, that sounds about right. I forgot for a second what the exact name for the attack was. Uh, the only tips I can give on ranking up is just keep playing the game and spam the GT Honey Pan. Well, yeah, the Honey Pan event, of course, it, it is great. Um, also, of course, take advantage of the times, you know, times four, times three rank XP, uh, you know, events, because that also gives you a good chance to level up really fast. Mini Tornado with the $5 dono. Thank you so much, man. 
He says, I grinded two days in a row um, for the last World Tournament. I'm still burnt out, so I'm going to have to miss out on Fizzkid Vegeta. Made top 1000 last time. Wait, you didn't... Wait, no, if you, if you grinded for two days in a row... Oh no, you're talking about last World Tournament. My bad, my bad. Okay, WTIM so... Out, so I am this time, you're not even going to try to get 23 million points? I mean, Damn, you must be really burnt out time. then. I get it though. I, I completely understand. I mean, if you got top 1,000 last time, then you must have been no lifing that thing, so... Yeah, man, just take a break if you need it, man. It's not that serious. It's not that serious. Uh, the first Max. Sup, my brother? Been a long time since I last uh, caught you on live. Hope everything is going smooth. Max, things are going good, man. Things are going good. Uh, can't really complain too much. Glad you're back, though. Welcome back. And uh, we got a lot of stuff coming for the anniversary, man. So hopefully I see you around more often, you know, in the coming days. Is Fizz Vegeta worth the grind? Is Kid Vegeta for a unawakened free to play unit is very good, actually. And even though you'll be able to get him, you know, on the banner in the future, if you can get a if you can get a guaranteed copy right now, why not go for that guaranteed copy? You know, you might as well just like lock that first copy in. And then if you pull him on like the World Tournament banner in the future, that's cool, get more dupes. But I would definitely at least get 23 million points to get him like guaranteed. Uh, Smiley, I only have a hundred-ish uh, stones right now, but I'll get more. I'll get more before the anniversary comes out. So we'll be we'll be fine for stones. Um, Do you think destruction by the time the banners drop. Granula get added to Dokkan in 2022. Um, Derelict, Derelict one with another five dollar dono. Uh, thank you, Derelict. Do you think God's destruct? Wait, do you think destruction gods Moro and Granola get added to? No kind in 2022. Okay, so um, I think they do eventually. Yes. Uh, with that said, though, I don't know too much about Moro right now because I tried to stay away from reading the manga because I wanted to like wait for them to animate stuff. But at this point, I think I'm just gonna straight up like keep reading the manga. I think I read the first like 10 chapters and I was like, oh yeah, it looks a little bit different from the anime, but like it's obviously similarities too. Um, but I never got to the part obviously where like Moro appeared. So I think I'm gonna just do it, man. I think I'm gonna just do it. I'm gonna re keep reading the manga, find out what exactly Moro is about. But uh, to answer your question, yeah, I do think they're gonna introduce Moro. Maybe next year, yeah, probably next year, actually. Probably next year. That would make sense. Uh, hey, so I suck at Dokkan, but how to get stones fast and free? Gohan DBZ? Um, fast and free? The only real, real way to do it is by doing events, man. Uh, the story mode will give you something like 600 stones or something like that. So do all the story mode stages. Uh, boss Rush is a super, super good way to get stones because you get something like... Uh, at this point, you gotta get like 300 stones, right? Because you're getting between 20 to 35 per stage. And we have like 10 plus now, I think. So, yeah, do your boss rush. Do your Extreme Z battles if you can. Um, World Tournaments might be kind of hard, but... Or not World Tournament, rather. Uh, Super Battle Road. Uh, what else What else? I'm forgetting? Like, just do all the events. Just do everything you can. And, and you'll get a lot of stones pretty quickly if you're fairly new. I mean, if you're fairly new, it would be, be kind of hard to do all those, though. <laughs> so, I guess for now, just focus on the story. Focus on finishing all the story events. Or uh, the story stages. Uh, Hercules Punching event is also good. But it's hard for, like, newer players to get the, the, the damage missions done. So a lot of the stuff I mentioned, I guess, is like kind of not exactly for like early game. It's more for like once you've established your teams a little bit, then you can beat those events. Uh, even Vegeta has his moments to shine. So as a Vegeta fanboy, I'm hyped. Oh, you mean? Oh, in, in the DBS manga. I see. I see. Yeah, I heard about some crazy things related to Vegeta. Like, people told me Vegeta gets, like, a stand and everything, like, in Dojo. I was like, that sounds pretty cool. Tiger, can I kiss you? 
Um, sure, if you want, like virtually. I mean, if you want to do it virtually, sure, do your thing, man. Do your thing. Um, not in real life, though. Okay, if we ever do a meetup, I, w I would at least like some warning before you try to do that, because it might not end well. Somebody suddenly, somebody knocks at the door. Uh, only reason I grind it with the World Tournament was for the stones. That should be the main reason anybody grinds the World Tournament, man. The stones are always worth it. You always get like 50 something stones for doing everything, so you should always do it for that. Um, but the unit tip generally these days, the, the new unit is also really good too. You know, like the kid Vegeta is actually like quite impressive for what he is. Um, hopefully, an announcement at the end of the next movie. Oh, like for the anime? Man, I hope so. I hope so. Ah, it's been too long without the Dragon Ball anime. Uh, only reason... Oh, I got 30 million. Let's go. Diane Seltzer. Congrats. Congrats. I'm almost there. We're getting there. I stopped playing for three hours and I lost my spot by 1,000. I'm telling you, it's too early to stop. It's way too early to stop. If you care about your placement at all, you gotta keep grinding. You gotta keep grinding, because um, we still got over 24 hours to go before the tournament's over, right? The <laughs> Dokkan Shaft. Don't worry, why? Because the Shaft is here. Dokkan Shaft, go away! Go away! We don't need you here! World tournament is just so lame and boring now. Oh, it's the same stupid grind. I give up for local number one like two years ago. Bonnie, I understand. I understand. It's not a, it's not a fun mode, but... The rewards are still good. The rewards are still good. By the way, guys, quick reminder: if you're if you just tuned in or been here for a bit, but you forgot to like the stream, but you're enjoying the stream, of course, then definitely make sure to like the damn stream. Show your boy Tiger some love. Very much appreciated. Let's get it to uh, to 500 like we did in the last stream. I don't know how close we are. Maybe we're only at like 200 something, but. Once again, if you guys are enjoying the stream, haven't liked the stream yet, definitely like the damn stream. Alright, 500 is the goal. Let's get it. Let's get it. I just want to get to top 100k and I'll be happy. <laughs> that's, that's, that's good, man. I would still say go for 30 million points, but obviously uh, it's up to you. Uh, how's it going, Tiger? Farden, it's been going good. It's been going good. How you doing? Whose jersey are you wearing right now? Uh, Jaden, I'm currently wearing a Toronto Raptors 10 jersey. Maybe somebody in the chat can tell you who this jersey belongs to. Because uh, I'm pretty sure we got a couple of, you know, Canadians out there who, who should be aware of this. Uh, only 464 watching, not possible. Lol, you might be surprised. You might be surprised. Because do you think that every single person that's like the stream is still here in the past, from the past, right? No, a lot of people came in, watched for a bit, liked the stream and then left. So what that means is that there's gotta be like a good amount of people that are watching right now that haven't liked yet. So it's definitely possible. It's definitely possible. I, I, I would guess at least half the people watching right now haven't liked. That's, that's just a guess, I could be wrong, but I think it's possible. Uh, does your GF do anything for the 4th of July? Jeremy, no, she's not American, so she doesn't do anything because it's just not really a, a holiday for us in Canada, right? But, um, it is coming up tomorrow, right? It's coming up very soon, so early, happy 4th of July to my Americans out there. Uh, obviously I'll say it tomorrow too, so it's fine, but, uh, yeah, man, 4th of July, pretty exciting. A multi at 500? Uh, I don't know about a multi, man. Maybe. Maybe. You know what? Okay, yeah, let's do it. If we get if we get 500 likes, I'll do a multi on the Tapion banner. I still don't have Tapion. It's still uh, something that I would like to have. So, if we can get 500 likes on the stream, I'll do I'll do a multi before we go before we end things. Divine Saiyan, he's like, I gotta go, but great stream later. Alright, Divine Saiyan, thanks for watching, man. I'll see you next time. I'll see you next time.
Uh, you should just come to N NYC, join the 4th of July, the fireworks are worth it. Sharn Gnome, I can't go to the States right now, man. It's impossible. They won't let me, you know, the travel restrictions are still very strict at the moment. Uh, yes, we loved watching people convert money into dragon stones. <laughs> yep. Uh, so amusing to see the likes skyrocket when a multi summon is promised. For sure, man, because people love to see shafts. People love to see me get shafted in Dokkan. So, whenever I say, yo, I'm going to do a multi, and there's a chance for me to, you know, experience some pain on the stream, people jump on that opportunity, man. People, people, people love it. Uh, another day, another grind. Barely imagined to stay top 2000. Been waiting for this stream like five hours now. Keep grinding, guys. But neat, you got this, man. Don't give up hope. You got this. Keep grinding. Keep going. Canada still got uh, tra travel restrictions. Yeah, yeah. No, we are still pretty, um, you know, like pretty, pretty strict around here. It's uh, it's unfortunate, but. I guess, uh, I, I don't know, like, our government's been kind of not handling this well, to be honest, but what can we do? What can you do? Um, okay, let's get these, oh crap, I clicked the wrong one, it's all good. Will you stream the summons for Goku and Vegeta? Yeah, of course, of course, I always do, I always do. People jump on the opportunity to see a live shaft. Absolutely. Absolutely. Who do you think is the next LR? Uh, they will redo his essay animation. Um, I mean, if we go by the trend, if this year is a GT celebration, then... Hmm, I don't know actually. I mean, we, we, we got we got Gohan, we got Majima Chikita. It's gotta be one of the other OGs. I'm gonna say Trunks. I'm gonna say Trunks gets it next. Is Trunks gets, gets a revamped Super Tech animation. Probably just the 12 key, because his 18 key is actually okay. It's actually not bad. His 12 key though, you know, it doesn't look the best. I think it's a little bit too basic, so... I guess, uh, yeah, it's Trunks. Look at the revamp. If you get Tapion though, I'll donate $10 for the anxiety beforehand. Alright, sounds good, Dukes. I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, Tiger, who do you think is better? Evo, Blue, Vegeta, or MUI Goku? Uh, MUI Goku. MUI Goku, I think is better. Are you on emulator? If not, uh, what screen recorders do you recommend? I kind of want to do 6th Annie Summons. Uh, Noah, so I'm using an Elgato HD60S. It's like this capture card that you can connect to your computer and then connect to your phone to uh, record your screen. So that's what I'm using. You could use a screen sharing app too, but usually the quality is not that good. Um, so a capture card is recommended, but not necessary if you don't care too much about having like the best quality. But in terms of like... Um, you know, screen recorders, like it's a lot of them out there. If you want to just like screen record and then turn it into a video, like not live. Actually, we can do it live too, actually. I think you can stream directly through one of those apps. So there's like DU Recorder, there's uh, Movado or whatever it's called. Just look it up. Just go to your store and search screen recorder and you'll find a bunch of them. Let's act like JP doesn't get shafted too just because they have more content. Wait, what's a global shaft? What are we talking about right now? World well, that celebration definitely gonna be LR merge to Masu and Trunks. Could be. Could be. By the way, yeah. Um, we are, as promised, gonna do a multi at 500. Uh, if we can get there before we, you know, have to go, which I think will be probably in two more runs. I think in two more runs, I'll be good. Um, then, yeah, we'll do that multi. If you guys haven't liked the stream yet, make sure to like the damn stream. Let's try to hit that goal. Let's try to hit that goal. I have no stones. Uh, I'm giving all my luck to Tiger when he streams. <laughs> Thanks, Joey. If you get an LR, I will donate $5. Sure, sounds good. 
Sounds good. Currently at 408. Let's go. We can easily hit 500. I think you guys can do it. I think you guys can do it. I mean, we're less than 100 to go. I got scared. I thought you wasn't gonna stream today. Glad I was able to make the last, uh, the last little bit. Bosco, that was my bad. I I wanted to stream earlier, but you know, I had had some stuff to do today, some family duties. So uh, yeah, hopefully people weren't too disappointed. Global is not getting the same name update until after the anniversary. I love Global Shaft. I'm pretty sure JP. I think it was the same thing on JP though. I think JP got the same name update after their anniversary. So, in a sense, it's kind of the same thing. <laughs> in a sense, it's kind of the same thing. Um, Tiger, what is your opinion on the animations of the LR Int Vegito and LR Fizz Gogeta? <sighs> they are not good. <laughs> they are not good. But to be fair, they were the first Dokkan Fest LRs. Um, and, and, actually, no, to be fair, they're not terrible, especially Vegito and Gogeta's animations. Um, I think they're still pretty nice. They're still pretty decent, but the Goku and Vegeta animations are bad. The Goku and Vegeta's animations look pretty bad, but once again, right, they're super old. It's not, like, that surprising um, that they're not, like, top tier. But uh, it'd be dope if they actually, yeah, revamped those guys' animations. I would love to see better Gogeta and Vegito animations all the time, but... I doubt that's gonna happen. I, I really doubt they're gonna do anything with them. How do you like the new JP Gogeta OST? I love it. I love it too, man. I love it too. I think everybody loves it. It's probably the best OST in the game right now. It's probably the best OST in the game right now, but or at least top three. Drop Dash Manny, every, Drop Dash Danny. Everybody, everybody hates. Uh, the chain battle mode man trust me it's not just you everybody hates it uh wesley woo my boy welcome welcome how you doing with the five dollar dono like the damn stream i want to see more tiger shafts i mean tiger panties it's gonna be one or the other man it's gonna be one or the other you see either a tiger shaft or a tiger panty um 500 is which didn't reach let's go you guys are close you guys are close we need a good android from the Android Saga in this game. The beginning of the Gogeta OST kind of sounds like a country song. <laughs> a little bit, maybe. A little bit, maybe. Uh, nah, it's like the only option for a hype celebration. They wouldn't release any new fusions or any Majin Buu Saga units unless they get uh, some unit from T.O.P. Yeah, no, I mean, I just don't see them revamping any anniversary unit animations ever. Uh, hopefully Global doesn't get shafted. Big Daddy plays in what way? Would we get shafted though? Are you are you talking about like the anniversary? Like if we get less stones or something? I don't I don't think so. I, I think they they kind of know like they they need to keep stuff like that fairly even. You know they can't like give JP. <laughs> I'm gonna say much more stones, but of course people are gonna mention the 300 stone thing. But that that was like a one time anomaly you know like for the most part they they keep it s somewhat even uh in terms of like how many stones are given out uh isn't top grossing 130 stones for both phones so it works differently for for jp yes because they only have the japanese store right they only have like the jp store to get top grossing from so yeah if they hit it on both sides then it's 100 stones for the anniversary but for us we'll get that 100 stones if um we get like something like i don't know if we just get a good amount of regions you know usually we get like 10 plus regions and when that happens we get the 100 stones super saiyan for goku and super saiyan for vegeta fuses into him i can see that for sure and omega that transforms oh you're talking about, are you talking about the the dual dokkan fest for the worldwide celebration i think that's it too man i think it's that 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 too um i i would like to see a new Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Omega Shenron for this year's Worldwide Celebration. Imagine someone watching this for the first time and heard Tiger Panties. Then, then they just gotta accept it. If they don't like that, 
then I guess they just won't sub. It is what it is. Uh, what's up, Cody? How you doing? Do you think the single summons are good? I don't think single summons make sense, given the fact that we have, you know, guaranteed SSRs, right? So, you're kind of just... It's kind of a waste. It's kind of a waste. I mean, singles, I know, have brought people a lot of luck. I know, like, you know, people, some people swear by singles, but I would always do a multi if I can do a multi. Unless I get, like, super desperate and I don't want to, like, spend, you know, 50 stones. Maybe I'll do, like, five singles or something like that. But if you can do a multi, you might as well do a multi. How deep will you go if they make a Dokkan Fest 18? Evan, if they release a Dokkan Fest 18, I gotta rainbow her, right? I got, I got a rainbow her. I don't think I have an option if they release an Android 18. No confess unit. By the way, the 66 banner is worth it for all the free-to-play homies. Uh, it depends. It depends how many uh, LRs you're actually missing. I think the, um, for like very new players, maybe. But if you already have a decent amount, then then probably not. So. It's kind of a tough call. Like I'm, I'm a little bit torn on that banner, honestly. Uh, I'm going 10k deep for LR18. I hope it's not 10k. I hope it's not 10k, but it might, it might just be. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, I don't expect an Android 18 Dokkan Fest anytime soon. But if it happens, we're going hard. We're, we're going deep. Okay, guys. Well, this might be the final run. I'll see how much stamina I have. I might have enough to do one more run after this, but this could be the final run we do on stream today. And uh, if someone wants to update me on the likes we have right now, have we hit the 500 goal? If we didn't, then obviously no multi. If we do, then we'll do a multi on the Papion banner before we go. Um, I would actually be okay with not doing a multi, though, to be honest. Because <laughs> I really... Don't think I'm gonna get anything. I think it's gonna be just one big disappointment. It's gonna be one massive shaft, so it, it might be for the better, man. It might be for the better. Oh, we're only at 450? All right, all right. Well, I guess it's not gonna happen then. I guess it's not gonna happen then. That's okay, though. <laughs> yeah, create 50 second accounts. <laughs> create seven, 50 secondary accounts. Do it. Uh, maybe Worldwide Celebration will be Super Saiyan Blue, Gogeta, and Full Power Broly. Maybe. Maybe. Anything's possible, really. Like, there's no, there's no way we can know for sure until we, like, maybe get a little bit closer. Okay. Let's see how much stamina I have left. If I have 60, then I'll do one more run. And it looks like, oh yeah, we have we have 69 stamina, actually. I think that's enough for one full rotation, isn't it? I think we need 60 for a full rotation, if I remember correctly. All right, guys, so one more, one more. We're almost at 500, apparently. <laughs> oh, it happened. Wow, it actually happened. You guys actually did okay. You guys actually did it. Well, as promised, we'll do it. You know, I can't can't go back on my word like that. Can't go back on my word like that. Um, good job, guys. You really want to see me get chapted? I, I I see that. I see that. Uh, yeah. Once we get through this rotation, we'll do that multi on the Gogeta banner or not Gogeta banner. I, I got Gogeta on my mind. Uh, we'll do that multi on the. Tapion banner and if I actually pull this Tapion then I gotta thank all of you guys right because like I I've spent like 1200 stones plus yeah no 1200 stones on a dot I think and couldn't pull him yet so if this magical one final multi does it then I love all of you if it doesn't well that sucks then uh, please tell me we're getting support memories. Isaac, we are. Yes, of course. Why wouldn't we get support memories? 
Why well, wouldn't we get that? You won't get Goku Black Rift this summon. Alright, Big Daddy plays. I'm gonna I'm gonna look forward to that then. Up Tiger, how you doing? JTXP, I'm good, man. How you doing? How's life? Hey Tiger, how many 66 multi tickets are we supposed to have right now? Gumbo, we're supposed to have zero. We're not gonna we're not supposed to have any because they haven't given anyone uh, any of them out yet. You're only start, supposed to start getting them when the anniversary starts, so don't worry about it right now. You're good. Uh in France in France we have Boxer. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's up, Zamajin? Try to pronounce my name, you won't. Uh your name is Asinul Asinul Majum. But Majumder, Majumder, is that right? Was I close? Uh, great. So if you don't pull Tapia, you don't love us. <laughs> okay, I still do. Just not as much. <laughs> no kidding. No, obviously. Obviously, I still love you guys. I just I will love you more if you if you help me get this Tapia on. Um. You don't know him? I mean, which boxer are you talking about? I'm sure there's a lot of French boxers. No? Aren't there a lot of boxers from France? 550 likes for a Kamehameha? What do you mean? Uh, Tiger about to get Gohan. I'll go Tin and Trunks animation and then Zeno pops up. That's very specific, man. That, that's, that's very specific. During my 6th anniversary summons, gotta happen. Cannot buy in stone games any or in game stones anymore because my iPhone XR have that. Wait, I have had for just over a week. Isn't letting me buy any games that require in game purchases like Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross. What? Wait, your phone is blocking you from downloading games with in game purchases? Wait, are you are you from are you from Belgium? Because I know they block those in Belgium so if that's the case then maybe that's why <laughs> but otherwise like why would that be the case why why would that be why would that be happening I don't understand that's so weird I've never heard of that before I've never heard of a, a, a phone blocking people from downloading specific apps like that I mean yes it's a, it's a phone that's helping you save money that that that's a good point the phone is helping helping uh, clear save money, but nonetheless, that's still weird. That's still weird. Hey, Tiger, I have a question. Prince Bacon, what is your question? I will try my best to, to answer it for you. Turn off parental controls. Maybe it has parental controls on. That's that's a good point. Maybe, uh, I mean, did, did a parent buy it for you? Or did someone else buy the phone for you? Maybe they had the setting turned on? I guess you shouldn't turn it off though if they wanted you to not download those apps, but still, that's so weird. If Tiger doesn't pay tape, pull tape on, he has to delete the channel and break up with his GF. That's a little excessive. That's a little bit too much, I think. I'm gonna still stay with Android 18. Um, but I'll just be sad, man. I'll just be a little bit sad. Not super sad, a little bit sad. Uh, he was the champion at the last world tournament. You can watch his ranking. Oh, 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 oh. You mean... Hero? Or do you mean Cuckoo? I know Cuckoo won last time, I think. I'm pretty sure Cuckoo won last time. Funny thing, Cuckoo was actually in my... Uh, in my local for the tournament. Either the last tournament or the tournament before the last tournament. And, uh... Yeah, he kicked my ass. Like, there was no way I was going to beat him. I was like, yo, maybe I'll try to go for t num uh, number one local this time. And then I saw him and I was like, okay, that's not happening. <laughs> that's not happening. Oh, we're talking about Boxer. I thought you were talking about Cuckoo. Like, okay, so, so Boxer is the guy you're talking about. No, I haven't heard of Boxer, actually. I honestly haven't heard of Boxer. What's his ranking right now, though? Because he's not number one, from what I can tell. Uh, how are you, Tiger? I'm not doing so well in the World Tournament. Can you give me some advice? Kimani, use attack all units. Use LR Broly. Use LR Krillin. Uh, 
the, the second form, Frieza is really good for a free-to-play option. Um, because that's going to help you get through it so much faster, man. That was me who is first at the moment. Is it really? Is it really? Oh, Boxer can't play because he's working? I see. Well, that's rough. That's rough. You really believe those guys with 100 million on number one are legit because I only see those in mine. Um, I think some of them are legit. Not all of them, though. Some of them are probably modders. But, you know, from what I have heard, at least I've been told, you get banned, right, when you mod. So, you know, for the guys that are consistently up there, they shouldn't be modding because if they were modding, they wouldn't be available or be able to come back every time, right? So, yeah, like, guys like Cuckoo for sure are not modders. They're just... I don't know. <laughs> they they just have a high tolerance for pain. They they, they have a high tolerance for pain. Rapal fools, we need a farmer with a shotgun. Doctor Crooked, that'd be that'd be cool, man. I mean there's so many good options though. Like I would love to see a Super Saiyan Super Saiyan Bardock. I'd love to see like Vegeta, Bingo Vegeta, or Maid Vegeta, one of those. Um It's always fun every year, man. It's always fun to see what they what they go with. And it, it, it all, almost never ends up being what I think it's going to be. Like last year, we got the, the Bulma, right? Like that was kind of random. That was pretty random. Uh, all right. All right. We are done here. We are going to do our multi though before we go. Because the guys did hit the, the light goal. So I can't go without that. But this is going to be the last run, guys. And uh, oh, Viper, what's up, man? I can I can do whatever you want. What's uh, What's the favor? If, I, if it's within my, my ability to do it, I'll definitely... <laughs> I'll definitely uh, do that favorite for you, man. So let me know. Let me know. Okay. Okay. So we got the Tapion banner. Actually, we can make this extra special. We can make this extra special. Phoenix! Come here. Come here. My brother's walking around. He was just like beside me. So I was like, might as well make him do this multi. Hey, what's up, Phoenix? Hi. Phoenix is here, guys. Okay, okay, here we go. He's gonna redeem himself from the last video. He's gonna do a multi here. Let's get it. Oh, we got Krillin. We got Krillin. All right, here we go. Phoenix, fall down. Let's go. <sighs> oh, okay, okay. We got the, the special Super Saiyan God animation, the countdown stuff. <laughs> here we go. Okay, oh Phoenix, why don't, why don't you click? Why don't you click? Okay, Medell. A bowl of Krillins. Okay, Youth Chi Chi. All right, Super Saiyan Trunks. It's not looking amazing. <laughs> it's not looking amazing. Oh, 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 that's it. All right, Four Cesar is not bad. Good job, Phoenix. Good job, good job. All right. Well, guys, we tried. There you go. We tried. Phoenix came in. It, we, we even brought the little the little bro luck. We got a bunch of SSRs, but unfortunately, no Tapion and Trunks, man. Tapion and Trunks. Tapion and Minosha. No Tapion and Minosha. Um, could have been worse, though. Could have been worse. I actually got some extra coins, which is good, because I can Baba... Uh, all four of them for extra coins, so that's worth something. That's worth something. And uh, you know what, guys? Today we're gonna do a quick raid. Let's let's raid my boy I see Josh. Let's raid my boy I see Josh. Um, luck, if you're still here, man, can you actually can you actually hit me up with that link if you can quickly find it for me? Cause I don't I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm lazy. I'm lazy. All right, guys, so that's going to be today's stream. Thank you so much for watching. Like the damn stream, uh, sub to the channel, and join me for this raid. Okay, we're going to raid my boy IC Josh. There's the link. Luck, post it a couple times. Post it a couple times. And also Twitch if you can too, man. Get the Twitch homies in there too. Okay, okay, that's, that's good, that's good, that's good. That's enough, that's enough. Head over to IC Josh, hashtag Tiger Raid, hashtag Tiger Squad whatever you want to do, and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Uh, three days live stream coming tomorrow. All right, the fifth. Oh, is it fifth? Yeah, the, the fifth countdown stream. Um, but yeah, have an awesome day, guys. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out. Oh, Gohan, thank you so much. Gohan, Gohan. $5 dono. Thank you, man. Nice parting gift. Okay, raid time. Head over to the raid. Do it. See you guys soon.